And we're tracking our own storm system that is still back to the west of us. Hasn't even moved into California yet. We've been talking about it the last couple of days. This storm has the potential to be a significant snowmaker as it moves over the western and even central and eastern half of the United States. Right now, here's the current track and path. Both models, European GFS, are basically have been very consistent in the path of the storm system, moving through south of the Rockies and then into the central plain states, crossing through Wichita, right to the south of I-80. That would put it in a zone that would put us favorable for significant snowfall across the area, at least the eastern half of the state and into parts of western Iowa. The other key ingredient with this not only is the track of the storm, but we're looking at significant wind as the storm system moves in. And what this means is that we could be looking at blizzard conditions with maybe up to about 40, 50 mile an hour wind, so visibility will be a serious issue. If the storm system tracks a little bit further to the south, we're looking at lighter totals, but still looking Looking at some decent snowfall. Now, the latest projections, I know these are pretty ominous, and they're basically almost an inch under our record snowfall. Unbelievable totals right now. Again, these are projected models. European snowfall showing about 16 to 17 inches. Same thing with the GFS. We think this is overdone at this point. Here are our latest projections. We're looking at about 8 inches to 12 inches here in the Omaha metro from Tacoma down to Lincoln, even Nebraska City, with the higher totals off to the east of us, so into central and western Iowa. Obviously, something we'll be monitoring very closely here over the next several days. And this is going to be bear watching, especially with a lot of folks traveling not only here in Omaha and even into Iowa, but really could be impacting a large portion of the country here as we go into, yes, Groundhog Day. I guess the question is, uh, we're, we're so far out and, mm -hmm. and you're saying 8 to 12 inches. Can a lot of that change and if so, how? Well, the track, that will be the key thing that we're going to be monitoring very closely. Now, the models, again, have been very consistent on its path and its track right now, starting to deviate a little bit further to the south and east, which would put us in the lighter category, so not again a 12 foot snowfall, but we're looking at potential or 12 inches, but we're looking at the higher amounts into maybe central and even western Iowa at this point. But the track of the storm is going to be the key thing here over the next few days. Okay, so you'll keep updating. Oh, of course, we certainly every day, will. Every newscast. All of us will keep everybody updated throughout the next 24, 48, right. even 72 That's hours. Super analysis. Thank you. Mm -hmm.